Hello Mathematicians, in this video we see a nice NBHM PhD 2020 problem, it is about finite fields. Like other NBHM problems, if you have clear understanding of finite fields, you can solve this problem very easily. Okay, so knowing many results about uh, finite fields won't helpful, if you have some understanding also it will be very easy. Let's see how to solve this problem. So consider the finite field k with q elements q is the number of elements and we want to find the number of elements alpha in k such that the smallest subfield of k containing alpha is k itself that means that inside k we want to count the number of elements alpha which is not contained in any proper subfields of k okay so, if you have some good understanding of the subfields of a finite field and uh, how they looks like, then pretty much this problem is straightforward. Let's see how to answer this problem. So, we are given four uh, elements of the form P power and in each of these cases, we have to say the exact number of elements satisfying the given condition. Consider the finite field FQ. We know that uh, any finite field is of order P power n where P is a prime and n is a natural number. Please check uh, uh, topics in algebra I and Hestin for uh, the basic results regarding finite fields. The field F power F P power K is a subfield of this field F P power n if and only if this K should divides n. Okay, that is a very important result <clears throat> and the proof is a very 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 simple and like a very nice proof also like so if you look at the Ian Hestin book they will prove that like this is a splitting field of some polynomial this is a splitting field of some po and hence this will also be a splitting field of some other polynomial and the corresponding polynomials this polynomial divides this polynomial like the associated polynomial of this field divides uh, associated polynomial of this field if and only if k is a divisor of n like that is a rough idea of the proof you can check the proof and the if you know the proof it is you will you it, you have a better understanding of finite field so please check the proof now we i'll do first option c then i'll do off i'll give the hints for other options also it is very similar let's see so consider the field f tip f of uh, f uh, 5 power 10 and uh, its subfields are the full full field f 5 power 10 f 5 square f 5 power 5 f 5 power 10 okay uh, here i want uh, uh, f 5 power 1 okay so why because the uh, 10 has four divisor one is a divisor two is a divisor five is a divisor 10 is a divisor for each divisor you have a subfield by our uh, this result okay now we want to see which which of these subfields contained in what subfield okay again we use this our crucial result okay now if you look at uh, so this is the subfield inclusion diagram of the field f5 power 10 so it has four subfields and uh, this f5 power 10 is the largest one and f5 is the largest f field f5 power 1 is the smallest one now this f5 square it contains f5 power 1 also because this 1 divides 2 similarly this f5 power 5 contains f5 power 1 uh, this 1 is contained in 5 similarly this 2 divides 10 therefore this field sits inside this field this 5 divides 10 therefore this field sits inside this field you can ask 1 is uh, uh, so 1 divides 10 so there should be RO here also uh, we don't need that RO because we are saying this sits, in, sits inside this sits inside this by transitivity this sits, sits inside this so we don't need to draw extra RO so we so we got this diagram from this diagram if you notice if you take an element that is here in, then that element will not belongs to any of these subfields so the smallest subfield containing those elements will be our full field full full f5 power 10 only so so this uh, this diagram can be uh, uh, written in terms of venn diagram so you have uh, this is f5 square and f5 power 5 and this is my full field 
f5 power 10 and we want elements alpha which is lying outside any of this subfield okay because we want this is the smallest subfield containing this alpha means that this alpha should not lies inside any of this field now what is now note that this field f5 is sit inside both of these fields actually that is this field is the intersection of these two fields so intersection of two field is again a field and uh, why intersection of these two field is equal to this field because again we have this very simple result uh, f p power k intersection f p power m is nothing but uh, f power f p power g c d of these two numbers now 2 and 5 are relatively prime therefore the intersection of two field will be f 5 power 1 okay so this is how this uh, uh, this is the structure of f 5 power 10 so you want to count how many elements are here okay so what you can do from this uh, cardinality you subtract the cardinality of uh, union of uh, these two fields and we are done okay so that is what we going to turn we going to do so card the required number of such alpha for which f5 power 10 is the smallest subfield is given by given by given by f5 power 10 minus union of these two subfields but the union of these two subfield like how to find the union in a if so a union b is equal to cardinality of a plus cardinality of b minus cardinality of a union cardinality of a intersection b therefore this has cardinality 5 power 10 this is 5 square this is 5 power 5 then the intersection is uh, has 5 elements so minus 5 so uh, the full answer is 5 power 10 minus 5 square minus 5 power 5 plus 5 okay so this is the final answer similarly you can argue for 7 power 12 also the option d so here the 12 has uh, 6 divisor so you have 6 subfields and you want elements that are here okay so again using the same argument the required number is 7 power 12 minus uh, 7 power 6 minus 7 power 4 uh, and you want to remove the intersection like uh, now the uh, intersection has seven square elements okay here two and uh, five are uh, relatively prime so the intersection is uh, five power one here the uh, gcd is two therefore intersection will have seven square elements so the final answer is uh, this much seven power 12 minus seven power six minus seven power four plus seven square okay so now if you have understand this concept you can solve any uh, similar problems also whatever big number they give you can by just to forming the uh, the subfield inclusion diagram you can immediately get the answer okay option 2 b option a and b are very uh, much simpler so you can try along the same lines okay okay so if you learn something new from this video please click the like button and share with your friends also subscribe to my channel thank you